Hello, everybody. This is April Stutzman. We got another episode here for you of Glory Stories. I'm so excited to be interviewing this special guest today to talk about the glory of God, some of the first times they experienced the presence of God, how they cultivated the presence of God, and different stories that impacted their life, whether it was transformation into glory, miracles that happened, and I want you to be a part of what this guest has to say, how they have experienced the heart of God in his presence so that you, my friend, can enjoy their story and see see how you too can experience the glory and the presence of God in your everyday life. So I'd like to welcome my special guest that I'm interviewing. Hello, everybody. I'm so excited to be doing another glory story with you guys. I just can't wait to see uh, what God's going to do tonight. We'll be interviewing Jennifer Martin. I'm just so excited. I just love love those guys and what they carry. I just give you a few minutes to log on if you're on here live. I just want you to say where where you're from and just say, hey, we'll be... praying tonight and and go in whatever direction the Holy Spirit wants us to go, but I just uh, can't wait. Just email your testimony, um, send it to us. I'm doing a podcast with these as well, and I just love to hear how it's impacting people that have never felt the glory before, or if they're cultivating the glory, or they're pressing in to new realms of glory. Hey, Tamara, how are you? Can't wait to see you guys. I'm so excited to to see the group from California. Somebody sewed into my life to be able to go to uh, Revival Harvest America and help out with that stadium event. It's going to be awesome. And uh, to be able to go to the School of the Prophets at Reading, I'm so excited. I leave in about 10 days. We'll let a few more people log on. Miss you guys. The weather was amazing out there. Love my guys in Fresno. I just love the California weather. And Jennifer will be logging on any second here. And I just can't wait to to see and hear Jennifer's glory stories. Hey, Angie, I haven't seen you in a while. Love you guys. Hey, Lisa. Just tell me where you're uh, logging in from. Give a few more minutes for people to be able to to log in before we go live. Miss you, Angie. Some of these guys took webinars with me. I love my webinars. I miss them already. Time to do a new one soon, but I'm traveling most of the month of August. So maybe we'll start back in September. And uh, I just, Lord, I just release the glory over the people that are logging in right now. Just ask the Holy Spirit to just take away any distractions as Jennifer logs on. Hey, Sydney. Hey, Aaron, how are you? Just as people are logging on, just I just release the glory over the people logging in right now, Lord. Just, just, just wash away. Just say, Holy Spirit, take away all distractions. I'm just going to ask God to speak to you through, through Jennifer's interview tonight. I just I can't wait to see what God's going to do. So come expecting. I'm expecting for God to speak to you in ways that you can't imagine that you really just really? need to hear. Hey, there she is. Hey. <laughs> I'm so excited to have you on tonight and to be interviewing you. This is yes. Jennifer Martin. Her and her husband have an amazing, she's co-founder of C- C- Contagious Love International and they traveled the globe and they do a little bit of everything. Signs, wonders, survival, miracles. What can I say, Jen? <laughs> oh, just, thank I you. Just, I love how you guys flow. And I see that your husband's now doing some prophetic art. Yes. That's really cool. He, he is so it. good. Yes. And he's he's making prints of some and he's selling them at his you know meetings, meetings that we go and speak at. So yeah, if you guys are interested, Amen. you can just follow Monday Martin and see his art there that's really amen really cool. amen yeah, pull it up here and i'm going to share it here on some pages so okay yeah i'll just keep saying hi to everybody got marianne yeah. and tammy hello how are you guys sydney hey 
people are still logging in, so that's perfectly fine. I can't wait to see what God's going to do tonight. I was just releasing the glory and just, and we just invite the Holy Spirit to just take away distraction and the cares of this world off of people right now. Just surrender yourself to Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, just take away the cares of the world and just speak to me tonight through April and Jennifer. And uh, just ask the glory. Just ask the glory. Hey, Beth, how are you? Love you guys. <laughs> Amen. So, Lord, we just ask you to your presence. I just want to continue to release the glory as it builds here. And I, I just want to, hey, Sarah, how are you? Love you guys. Miss Jaden. <laughs> People logging in from everywhere. Hey, Darren. He said he loves Monday's paintings. I do, too. Aww. They're awesome. I'm not seeing the comments. Let me see if I can get them up here. Yeah, that's awesome. I love uh, prophetic art. I'm a prophetic there art. There they lover. are. Hey, Aaron. <laughs> hey, Raquel. How are you? Hey, Lily. Do you have a few more minutes for people to be logging in and then we'll start? I'm so excited. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Just let your presence wash over the people logging in right now. Yes. We just yeah. thank you for your glory, Lord. I just release your glory. We just continue to release your glory right now. Even before we get into the broadcast, before we get into the word of knowledge, if you need a miracle right now, just receive it. The glory's here. Just receive it. Just rest. Lord, we just speak to creative order, even as we start to body parts, tissues, lungs, yes, kidneys. Right now, we just declare right now in Jesus' name, creative order, the livers, thyroids right now. Just yeah. receive whatever you need as we're pressing into the glory. Just grab it. God's here. Mm -hmm. Holy Ghost. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus. I'm already getting cold, Jen. <laughs> you shared, Richard? I shared. I shared on like three different things. Amen. <laughs> Somebody get some miracles tonight, Lord. Just yes. do it. Hey, Monica, good to see you. Hey, Dave. Yeah. Some really people are honored to be on, guys, because Richard and April, they have been people that have supported us back in the day. I think when we were just even getting started, you guys uh, kind of jumped on the wagon with us. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love you guys. I just love everything y'all represent, the realness, the Father's heart, all of it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, All right. Awesome. A few people still logging in. Yeah. Marianne. Hey, Marianne. All right. So we'll get started and see where Holy Ghost goes. So, Jennifer, I'm going to ask you. I'm interviewing, like I said, amazing Jennifer Barton. And uh, I just already feel the glory really heavy here. So if we just get kind of giddy a little bit during the interview, it just happens. But, uh, <laughs> I, I would love for you to share one of your first experiences in the glory. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's a good one. So the first time I experienced the glory, I did not know what it was. <laughs> and it was really right when I came to the Lord, I was fresh out of giving my life to the Lord coming out of working in bars and coming off drug addiction. And some people might know my testimony. And I went on this hunger, desperation, mm -hmm. fasting without even knowing that I was fasting. <laughs> Literally, I forgot to eat April because I was so desperate for God. I would spend all day in the Bible and in worship and I, I had come to the end of the meaning of life, of everything else that I had sought for. And I was just mm. done with everything, you know, and I even grew up in church. I knew what it was to, to do church and go to Sunday mm. school. And I got saved when I was six and mm. I got baptized when I was 11. And, and I grew up in that atmosphere and I knew what it was, but I just, I wasn't finding something that I was looking for. And I didn't even know what I was mm. looking for. I just was hungry for more, you know, and I mm. remember just praying and saying, God, you've got to have some kind of like feeling. You've got to have some kind of like substance to you. Come on. I said, how could, you know, it just makes sense to me. I was a very logical and analytical person <laughs> before I lost my mind for Jesus. And <laughs> And my logic and reasoning to told me that he had to have some kind of presence. 
And just like when you feel a person come into a room and, and, you know, you can, you know, when somebody else is there, you feel their presence. Mm -hmm. And I was like, God, you have to have a presence to you. And I sought him guys and prayed and cried and prayed and worshiped and read my Bible and listened to teachings. And he did not answer me for two months. For two wow. months, I did not wow. experience what I was crying out for, but I didn't wow. give up. Amen. Come on. <laughs> I did Love not it. give up. I said, God, I know that you have got to have some kind wow. of way for me to feel you. I know it. I know it. I know it. <laughs> and so I asked and I asked and I asked. And one day I was sitting there and I said the same thing that I had said before every other day. Holy Spirit, I believe that, that you have a substance to you and that I can feel you. Will you let me feel you today? What do you feel like, Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. And I just mm -hmm. sat there and I prayed. And all of a sudden, the power of God. And guys, mm -hmm. I don't even know that I've experienced his power like this to this day. It was wow. so strong, April, because I needed this. Wow. I needed it to shake wow. me, to wake me up. It was yeah. so powerful that it was vibrating, vibrating through every cell of my body and the electricity uh -huh. going through me was so <laughs> strong that I could not move my body. My body uh -huh. was frozen in glory uh -huh. for, I don't know how long, probably a couple of hours. And I yeah. sat in the fear of God, just covering me and just in fear uh -huh. and in awe and, and, and just weeping that that oh, God man. had answered me and that he, and the only thing I could say is, this is you. <laughs> this is you. Come on. This is you. You're letting me feel you. This is you. This is you. Mm. And I just, I couldn't move. And it was the most wonderful experience I'd ever had in my life. I didn't want to go anywhere. I never wanted to leave. And I got so hungry for this experience. Mm. And I've told people about it since then. And, and like kids that are unbelievers or, or, you know, mm. encounters on the streets, we would encounter people mm. on the streets and they'd say, God's not real. I'd say, don't tell me God's not real. He zapped my body for two hours and I couldn't physically move when I asked him, are you real? And mm. he showed up. <laughs> I said, I, I dare you go ask him if he's real. And I dare Amen. you to keep asking that question until you get an answer. Come and on. one kid that I told this to, April, he went home and he did what I said. Oh, come on. I forgot about it. this story until we started talking. Yeah, go for it. Share it. Yeah, go for I, it. I, this is so precious. Oh. And he went home and he had he encountered God and it shook oh. him to his very core. He ended up coming to our church, going out on street evangelism oh. things with us, <laughs> and then traveling the nations for Jesus. Wow. And then we mm -hmm. get this. Years later, we ran into this kid. After oh, we went wow. talked to him, he Praise moved God. to another state, and he was, like, on fire for God. We ran into him evangelizing a store. Oh, man. Wow. He was preaching to Come people. Come on. Yes. And we ran into him. And I <laughs> wept leaving that parking lot that day because oh, yeah. I said, my God, yeah. if I hadn't been bold enough to say that to this young man, there's no telling how many souls would have been you know, missing from the kingdom that would have not been added. And his life was shaken all because I said, I dare you to mm -hmm. ask God for an encounter. Come on. And that moment shook me, April. And it led me into mm -hmm. the depths of the love of Christ because I began wow. to beg God to show me what the cross is. Come on. And please interrupt me whenever you want. You know, no, no, I, yeah, lot, no. So. No, no. <laughs> I, begged God after I encountered his presence, I wanted to go deeper. And I said, God, I feel you. I know you're real. You've answered that question. I'll never doubt you again. I'll never say anything about, I don't know if it's real or not. I'll never analyze it. I'll never judge it. I'll never question. And I haven't to this day. Wow. And, and I, I went into the presence of God and I just said, I hit my face and I wept and I said, please show me what the cross really means to you i know yeah. what it is i know yeah. i know the basics of it but i wanted to go into the depth of the cross god oh released such a lovely deep love there's no words to describe it i'm sure you guys have had this encounter too with the lord and he released such an encounter such a deep love to me it wrecked me it wrecked me it wrecked me and for two weeks Thank i laid God. on my floor and i could do nothing but weep 
I could do nothing but weep. I could do nothing but cry. He overtook Mm -hmm. me with the love that Mm -hmm. radiates out of the heart of Jesus. And he literally Mm -hmm. took me through an encounter and a vision where I walked the, 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 I walked the Emmaus road with Jesus. And, and, and then I I walked the, uh, the, the, is it, is the Mm -hmm. Emmaus road? No, the, the road that, that he walked with the cross. Mm -hmm. What is the name of that road? in Israel. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, I'm I see. Everybody takes that note. The Via Dolorosa. The Via Dolorosa. Yes. I walked there. He oh, took me supernaturally oh, okay. in the spirit, in a vision. And oh, then I got to fulfill that vision by actually going to Israel and getting to walk this encounter out in the physical. But I walked there mm-hmm. in the spirit and the Lord took me into things that I can't mm-hmm. even explain. And something happened to me that day mm-hmm. and he broke me. He broke wow. me down with his love. Oh, love breaks through like Keith Green says. <laughs> and oh, it breaks it. through every time. Yeah, yeah. So I'm feeling led right now. There's some people on here. I can feel their hunger. So would you, would you just lead them in that same prayer that, that yeah. you said to God? So maybe they, maybe they don't have a grid on how to pray it and just, yeah, yeah, yeah go for yeah, it. Yeah, you, you guys, you just got to be real with the Lord. You know, the Bible oh, says he desires truth in the inward parts and there's mm-hmm. no formula, you know, to relationship. Mm-hmm. There's no formula to your hunger. You guys oh, know yeah. that you just, you just cry out from your heart. What do you feel? What do you yeah. feel right now? You tell him, you tell him what you feel. You tell him when you're broken. You're te- you tell him when you're desperate. Mm-hmm. Lord, right now, I just pray that all the barriers would break down. Come Lord, that the on. glory barriers, Lord, would just break down, Lord God, where we try to protect ourselves from being wounded and being hurt or being disappointed or being let down. You know, just, yeah. Lord, I pray right now that you just wreck people, that they just get raw and open with you, Lord, that they just open up their heart, Lord, that they just open it wide open and say you know what no matter if I get wounded no matter if I get hurt no matter what happens no matter if I get trampled on I don't care if I get disappointed I don't care if I don't get the answer right now I'm going to open up my heart I'm going to rent it open and I'm just going to give it all to you I'm just going to let you see it I'm just going to let you have it I'm hungry I'm hungry I'm hungry I want you and I've got to have you Lord show me more show me more give me purpose give me Just, for- just take me to the pl- yeah. place, Lord. Take me to the place where I'm just done. I'm done with all the motions. Come I'm on. done with all the rigorous like routine. And I just want to get real and raw and passionate with Jesus. I just want to know, Lord, and I just want to erase all that condemnation right now and that shame and that guilt that tries to stop me, Lord, from entering into the flow of your heart. God, I just, I just release that to you right now. I'm just going to come to you like a little child. And I'm just going to believe that you love me and you love the way I talk to you. You love the way I look at you and you love to reveal yourself to me because you're a good father and you're a good God and you're not holding yourself back from me. You're holding yourself for me. God, if you, if I feel like you're hiding in the secret place, you're hiding there and you're awaiting my entrance. You're hiding and you're waiting for me. You're not hiding from me. Lord, I pray they would know it right now that God, you are not hiding from them. You are hiding for them. I pray they would open up to you, Lord, and let you touch the places that have been hidden, that have been cut off that have been closed because of trauma or wounds or hurt where people have not been trustworthy, but God is trustworthy. People will hurt you, but God will never hurt you. And I pray that you would give the Lord room to fill you with his glory today in Jesus name. Yeah. Amen. And I could just, I could see the, the people's hunger on here. So what Jennifer was modeling is how you just go before as a child. Yeah. You know, the Lord says, come like a child. So that's how he wants to get intimate with you. So if you haven't talked to the Lord that way, do it. Yeah. Just do it. Just let your full heart, your full emotions. I know there's many people that have read the word. Like you said, I love how you said you read the word, you studied the word, but you want it to encounter. And the Bible is full of encounters and encounters is where transformation happens. 
Mm. And so I love the, the story that you said. And Lord, I just bless their hunger. I feel their hunger right now for the real supernatural, not the fake. The real supernatural happens through Jesus Christ. He is the gateway. He is the door. And we are to bring kingdom. And I feel some kingdom yeah. ambassadors on here. And, and you've been pressing in like, like what Jennifer is doing. And I, I just see uh, keys of authority being released to some people on this broadcast right now that you want to do the kingdom things and you're listening to this broadcast because you're hungry and you want to learn more about the glory. So I just bless what God is doing in your life. Yeah. You, thank you, Amen. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so good Ooh, so, <laughs> <I know. laughs> we're just feeling holy ghost and oh y'all i could just go in <laughs> prayer right now yeah amen <laughs> amen we might do some more of that too uh some of the favorite scriptures i like to give people that like to study the word you got to think about yeah. how the glory filled the temple ezekiel 44 4 and how first corinthians three sixteen says don't you know you are the temple yeah. We are the temple. Anything you want to say about that, uh, Jennifer, go for it. We are the temple. Wow. That is so good. I love talking about that, how we together are built up for a habitation of God. Come on. When every member yes. plays their part. <laughs> yes. What yes. part do you have to play? Mm -hmm. Don't worry about playing with the big boys. You know, it's like everybody's got to get up there and climb the ladder. And, you know, God doesn't care about that. When it's all Come said on. and done, when Come every on. person is faithful to what God's given them, even if it's a little thing, we think it's little, but it's not little to the Lord Come because on. God cares about faithfulness. Come on. Remember Come the on parable it. of those that had were given a watch over the 10 talents and the one that had the five talents and one that had the one. All that the master was looking for was faithfulness when he came back, not the size of their progress and their success. He was looking at their faithfulness. Love it. And that's what God's looking at in us. We can't worry about like, oh, we're only successful if we bring a lot of things to God. No, it's the fruit, guys. It's faith. Yeah. Faith come is on. a fruit. Come bring on. your faith to God. Let come him on. plan it in what you are doing and let him multiply it. The word yeah. says he's going to multiply the seed sown. You are going to play the part in the body of Christ that is so vital, so important that, that even the word says, even the parts you think aren't even necessary, even the parts you think are not even necessary are some of the most necessary parts. Come on. People that they, they don't step into their callings. But guys, when we start stepping into every person playing their part, this is how the body of Christ is going to come into fruition. How we are come really on. going to be the temple of God together. Amen. Together. Not I don't even want to do it by myself. You no know what way. I mean? We have too many brothers and sisters. You know? <laughs> he wants to fill you with the glory. You know, it's glory yeah. that guides us, glory that leads us. Glory that yeah. takes us, glory that goes before us, glory that goes Come behind on. us, glory on all sides. We cannot do it without the glory. Come Don't on. even try. It. And people can fall from any level, guys. We can't think we're yeah. safe Come now on. because we've built some kind of ministry. No. My Lord, you know, or, or you've built some <laughs> kind of thing and now you're safe. You know, we have to keep the spirit of humility and realize that it's the Lord that fills the temple. It is the Lord that has called you. It is the Lord that keeps you. And Come it's on. the Lord that holds you up in your weaknesses. He told Paul, my grace is sufficient for you mm -hmm. in your weakness. That's one of my and, favorite verses. <laughs> yes, that should get you really excited. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So you had an encounter in the glory. It, yes. It obviously totally transformed your life. So what would you say to some people on here, some practical to tools? Because I know people like to, if we don't yes. think about how we're going to cultivate the glory, what choices did you have to make in your lifestyle to cultivate the glory? Yeah, Jesus. to cultivate. Gosh, I would say I was so hungry every day to just be with the Lord. That's natural for you. <laughs> 
Bam. <laughs> you have to love force it. me away, you know. You're but... speaking to somebody on here. There's somebody. We have all type of personalities. So. Yeah. Practical ways is everywhere you are, you know, especially, you know, in the beginning, I could have hours a day with the Lord and it was so beautiful yeah. and precious. And Come I on. love that. And I wish I could have that every day. But I do have it as a communion, as a walking, you know, yeah. walking it out. I know every that he's day. with me. He's always with me. He'll never leave me or forsake me. I understand that. His peace is always with me. But mm -hmm. having that intimate moment of talking to him, you know, yeah. you don't want everybody else listening to your every little intimate, you know, word that you say. You want to go. Nope. You want to you want to go away. You know, come away, my beloved. Come away mm -hmm. with me. Come up here and listen yeah. to what I have to say. You want to do that. And I would do that. Um, but once uh, we started traveling and having children, uh, you know, having four or five hours, sometimes the whole day in the word and prayer just wasn't realistic. Yeah, yeah. Because you have to take care of kids. And you guys understand that. Yeah. So I, I got really broken because I missed it. Mm. And I would mm. cry. And I would say, God, I just I want to sit with you in my room. Yeah. I don't want to do this. Yeah. <laughs> I can relate. <laughs> I just want to hide away under the shadow of your wing. Please take me away, Calgon. Yeah. But uh, Calgon, <laughs> take me away. <laughs> on here that can relate many parents on here can relate to that so the lord had to teach me jennifer my presence is with you always come on just sing to me while you're yes. doing dishes or cooking dinner Amen. or come put on, on worship you know you sometimes you have to break through what you need come it may on. not be exactly what i wanted but it's like by golly I'm getting in the glory right now. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> I put amen. on some worship and I just scrub those dishes and I enjoy yeah. it. Or I put on some worship and I fold that laundry and I enjoy it. You know, Amen. when you're going places, put on worship, get in prayer when you can, Yeah. you know, and, uh, I, but I do every day come to the Lord first and spend time with him. It's not as long as I'd like, but I do start the day with him at least amen. 30 minutes to an hour before, you know, I get into work and things and give him the first fruits of my day. Yeah, yeah. So that is a great way to cultivate just being in the presence, you know, Yeah. Amen. and not always looking for something to do in that time you meet with him. Come on. You know, sometimes amen. you can just go and sit and yeah. just be with him, with him. You, know? you know, and just, and just pray and love him and worship and sing to him and let your heart speak. And that's what I do. Um, I don't have to have a devotional. I mean, some people might thrive better than that. That way, yeah. um, I thrive better when I move with my heart. That's just yeah. Me. If Amen. I try to get into some kind of study, I tend to just get in my head, yes. and that's not where I want to yep. be. <laughs> yeah, Amen. That's come good. on. But go with what gives you, like, lights your fire. What lights your fire? Yeah. What lights your passion? What what stirs you, you know, like every personality is different. You know, maybe you Come feed on. better on a teaching. Maybe you really get hit with the glory when you get like teaching in the word, then do that, eat do that, that, you Amen. know, like Amen. what member are you of the body of Christ? Like what, what fills your temple, you know, and like keep filling it that way. Amen. Um, yeah. I love that you brought up worship because sometimes I've learned that just to get in the glory, he just gives me songs. Like, whatever the song is, like, it could be something like, he, just for an example, like, Revival's on the way, and I'll just sing it over and over and over. And it's just funny because it's just like you said, it, it's just pulling on what we were created to do. Yeah. And so his presence just rides waves right in. Yes. Like he just, whether you're doing dishes or you're at work, I know I was at the airport one time. How many have been there and got stuff in like 24 hour delay? Oh my goodness. And he's so funny. He said, he was like, I'm just teaching you to, to cultivate the glory wherever, just lean back. Yeah. And so I had to just lean back because I couldn't sleep. You know, you know, when you're up all night, can't sleep in the airport. And I just lean back and just yeah. got in the presence. So we're one decision away from the glory. Yeah. From the presence of God. And it's so funny how it can people can perceive it as being difficult, but it's not. Right. You and know? you know, sometimes you get interrupted by the Lord and he just yeah. shows up in the middle Come of what on. you're doing and yeah. you mm -hmm. are distracted. <laughs> I love you it. You can't help That's it. the best times ever. And it's like, my friend. <laughs> He's here. Hello. 
Yeah, amen. I feel the same way. There, there's certain times that he wakes me up at like 4 or 5 a.m. And I haven't worshipped. I haven't done anything. It's just his presence. And it just wrecks me. I don't want to move. Yeah. I'm just like, I just want to sit with you. I don't care. I don't have to say anything. Yeah. I mean, I just sit there and it's yeah. like, oh, he's here. I love him. Just, yeah. You know, you can relate. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Oh, Jesus. So one of the things that the Lord was speaking to me about, I always ask the Lord, like, um, on the broadcast, what, what are some things that Holy Spirit wants to do on here? And I felt like, um, Jennifer, he was saying to pray for the prodigals. Mm. I really felt a heart of God for prodigals on here. So if you have a prodigal on here, we'll be praying for him in a minute. Just say, hey, this is me. Um, I just really feel the Holy Spirit's heart for that. So um, any anything specific you want to pray into that, I'll just give you total reign. Just want to honor your intercessory gift and the heart of the Father that you guys carry. Oh, thank, thank you. you, Jesus. Yeah, Lord, we just Jesus. release right now the call of God, the call to the prodigals. Lord, the oh, ones Jesus. that have stepped away, the ones that, those sweet little ones that mm. knew you when they were little and they got drawn away by the lust of the world, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life. Come on. Oh, Lord, I thank you that you see that covenant that those young ones made with you and you don't forget. You yes, don't yeah. forget the ones that have made you theirs. You don't forget that they are your children. Lord, you don't forget them. You have angels always surrounding them, protecting them, leading them, guiding them. Lord, I am convinced and know that you have angels around them to bring them home to you. Lord, that they're constantly working, reminding them of your word and your love and reminding them of things you've done in their life. Lord God, right now, I just ask that you would quicken each person that's praying for their son or their daughter that is away from you right now. I pray that you quicken their child with the memories of the miracles and the memories of the healings and the memories of the signs and the wonders that you've Aww. done in their lives Thank and their parents. Lord, cause them to remember. Thank cause you. it to come up in their mind. Lord, I pray that you would bombard them with your goodness. Come on. That your goodness would just overshadow them and they wouldn't be able to refrain from it. They wouldn't be able to resist it, Lord. God, I pray right now, just like your word says, save some with compassion. Save some with fear. Lord, right now I ask that you save these prodigals with compassion, that the compassionate hand of God would touch their heart, soften their heart, Lord, and draw them to life in Jesus' name. Amen. And Lord, I just call in encounters for the prodigals yeah. right now. Lord, we just declare for everybody under the sound of our voice, just, we just declare that the prodigals are coming home. The prodigals are not, they're just burned out by religion, Lord. They're burned out by the not being real. They're burned out by not having deliverance, by not experiencing the presence of God. So I just thank you, Lord, that you're bringing the revival to call them into presence. You're calling the prodigals. You're calling the sons, the daughters, the teenagers into real encounters with you. And we just call that forth. We just agree with heaven, with what already that heaven's already doing. We just agree with what heaven's doing. We just thank you, Lord, that you're even, Lord, that you're harvesting them in through encounter. That you're wooing them. You're drawing them in with your love. They're drawing. Lord, if there's any um, prodigals under the sound of my voice right now, I just ask that the glory just pour over them that maybe they've never felt it. Maybe they've been through trauma. Maybe they've been through pain. We just break that trauma off right now. We just curse any roots of trauma. We yes. curse any roots of stress right now. We curse it off right now. We just say, yes. let the glory fill that place. Let the love of the Father just give them a supernatural invasion from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. I just, I see the Lord just doing some heart surgeries 
as they, as they listen to this podcast or they play the replay, I just see heart surgeries going on in the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Whoa. Yeah. Let your presence just invade. Ooh, man. Thank you, Jesus. I just feel that fear of the Lord. Thank you, mm. Jesus. And you said, sometimes I hear the song in my head and I feel his presence over and over. Yeah, just keep cultivating that, Angie. That's awesome. Mm. I love that. The Father loves it even more. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So I'll let you, Jennifer, I'll let you share. what. Just share some of your favorite miracles you've seen in the glory. Just oh, any my- of them, anything you feel led to share. I've had, a, it's funny, I've had a few dreams with you about miracles i was just crying standing in front of the crowd bawling my eyes out and that's all i could do in the Aww. dream it was so wild but i just uh I, I think it's your heart you know the lord was showing me it's your heart for the miracles and it takes Aww. that mercy yeah <laughs> that mercy heart hey trina oh, love to see you too. <laughs> thank you lord yeah um wow So when I first started seeing, uh, you know, a lot of times, and I've shared this before that, you know, Monday um, ministered for many years before I stepped into really ministering uh, publicly, Mm -hmm. I would do things behind the scenes, compassion acts, Mm -hmm. giving out toys to Mm -hmm. kids, praying for kids, Mm -hmm. you know, um, praying for orphans, visiting orphanages Mm -hmm. when we go to countries, um, visiting the hospitals, you know, things like that I did. And I didn't do any preaching or speaking or praying for people publicly. Um, I really just didn't believe that that was anything I was called to do or supposed to do. And that that wasn't my gifting. So I just never stepped out into that. Um, And the Lord started challenging me. I I heard this message just one time, this message. um, And she was preaching about her testimony. And she said, Um, This was Jeff Jansen's wife, Jan, and she said um, she just chose to never doubt God. She said, I chose to never doubt God. And when she Mm. said that, something hit me so hard. Like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. (laughs) If I limit myself, I'm limiting God in my life, and I shouldn't limit myself. Why not stretch out my my, you know, tent. Why not just enlarge and say, I believe God for everything. I believe that you can use me. You know, I believe that you can move through my life. And I, and I told the Lord that day, I said, God, I will never Mm -hmm. doubt you again. And I'm so sorry that I haven't Mm -hmm. stepped out and thought that I was anointed enough or called enough or gifted enough to pray for the sick, to move in words of knowledge and to move in healing. And that moment, when I mm-hmm. repented before the Lord, I closed my eyes and I'd come up to pray for people. And uh, I closed my eyes and the Lord immediately started taking me into a realm of visions for the people. And every mm-hmm. person I stood in front of, I would get this this vision, this panorama vision, this picture for them. And I'd never experienced mm-hmm. it before. I didn't even, mm-hmm. I, I was like, whoa, this is blowing me away. I couldn't believe it. And I just started <laughs> saying everything that I saw. And it was right on for them. And then God was touching them and setting them free. And healings began to happen and miracles began to happen. And guys, I had prayed for people for many years and did not see healings and miracles. It's not that I never tried to pray for people. It's that I prayed for people with a, a place of, it, of I'm not worthy to pray for people. There's no anointing on my life, so nobody's going to get anything anyways. But I'll just try it and see what happens. You're speaking so, to people right now that, that just, need to hear it. Need I'll to hear just what you're pray. Yeah. I'll just pray and see what happens, but really nothing's going to happen. I mean, I know nothing's going to happen and never does with me. Like that's how it was, but that's because I was doubting God and God, he got me. He, he got <laughs> me that. hard. He got you. Hit me <laughs> gut and said, Come stop on. doubting. Just reach your hand out Come and believe, on. you know? Come on. I said, okay, I'm just going to do it. I'm not going to make it about even my faith. I'm not going to make it about me. I'm not going to make on. it about anything. I'm going to make it between this person and God and know that God loves this person enough. It has nothing to do with Come me on. that he wants to heal them. So I took myself out of the formula. You know, Come it on. used to be me plus God, you know, <laughs> in the person. Then maybe the person gets healed. Like if I let God flow enough through me, 
you know, if I yield to the anointing enough, Come on. Was, I had all these like ideas of how people, <laughs> a just, lot of people on here can probably relate. It's just crazy. That. If I lay my hand on them, then the anointing's going to flow through my fingers. <laughs> if I, if I pray in tongues long enough, then the miracle will happen. Oh, I have all the formulas. <laughs> I, I love them. it. Oh, two or three are gathered. I'll get another person to come pray with me. Then it'll happen. Oh, yeah. Then all the formulas. God wouldn't let any of them work because I kept huge. thinking it was some kind of formula. system. Yeah, formula of how God that. heals. And he, every time I thought I, I saw, you know, would figure it out, you know, I'd watch people and I'd watch healing ministers. I'd be like, I've figured it out. I see how God moves, you know, and then I'd try it. And he would never let me do it. He was <laughs> humbling me so, so hard to get That's me to cute. a place that I'd break and just be like, you know what I had to be like? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know That's how crazy. God does it. That's he crazy. just does. Does it. Amen. Sister. And he doesn't have a certain way. He can do it however he wants to. Come on. He can make it as clean or messy or loud as or quiet or whatever he wants to do. Come That's on. how he'll do it. And he taught me if I'll just yield to his voice and listen and stop trying to do it my system it way. Yeah. And uh, each person uh, just yield to him. I would see it. So I finally got stupid enough, April. Uh, you're so funny. I decided to be stupid enough to let God use me. <laughs> so when I got stupid, I started <laughs> see seeing that the healings happen. And I laughed so hard because I just wanted you to mute me. He said one time I was going to pray a nice little prayer with this guy. And he said, because my faith was in, you know, if I say to this mountain, right, be removed. So there was my yeah. faith in like when I talk to it, it's going to, it's going to, he's going to be healed. Yeah. It's going to go. And yeah. the Lord stopped me, April, right before I started to reach out to pray for this man. He said, don't you say a word. <laughs> I love it. I was like, but God, that's how you heal people. I say it. And then the healing happens. He's like, no, yep. you're not going to say anything. And I'm going to heal him. So cute. I did it. And I looked crazy because I just like, he said, here's all I want you to do. I want you to just touch with your finger and don't, don't do the long touch. <laughs> <laughs> don't do the linger touch. We well, you know what that is. Yeah, <laughs> more anointing, know. more anointing, right? Just yeah. do a quick touch and, and, and release mm -hmm. and, and watch me heal him. And yeah. see, the Lord was teaching me something. There is no system. There's faith, yeah. only faith Amen. and obedience. So Amen. I did that and the guy was completely healed in his knee. So uh -huh. my point of saying all of this, I know I'm That's still going to tell stories of healings and miracles, but... <laughs> I love it. And a lot of people can relate to that. Yeah. You just got to get out of the way. So if you're on here yeah. and you've been praying for the sick and it hasn't worked or you haven't seen your miracle, just get out of the way. Yeah. There's go back. No formula. To, go back into your inner voice, your spirit, man, and listen. Listen to the Lord. Yes. Lord how do you want to do this miracle? How do you want to do the healing? Because when we Come start on. overstepping boundaries of the Lord and he doesn't want to do it that way, he won't do it. He yeah. will not do it. He I know won't. he's gracious and merciful, April, but he does not let me control Any the healing. It. He does not let me control it. <laughs> oh, people, we so try funny. to control it. We're going to lay hands on everything, see it get healed. Well, are we controlling the Holy Ghost or are we yielding the Holy Come Ghost? On. He's had to rebuke me I so many it. times where Come I started on. getting words of knowledge. Monday and I both in the room for people and people started getting healed left and right. Every word of knowledge getting healed. So I got really excited, right? Everybody's getting healed in the room. Okay, everybody that has pain in your body, get up here right now. But that's yeah. not what God told me to do. He good. didn't tell me to do that. Oh, that's I got good. excited, and I that's want everybody really to get in a prayer line. I started praying for everybody. Guess what? Nobody got healed. <laughs> Nobody got healed. <laughs> I love that. I love how real you are. That's I had to cute. eat humble pie in front of the whole room. Oh, and man. That's okay. I've been there. I like I've it. Been there. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I like I've had it. To Holy Spirit has a way of feeding this humble pie, but it's so good for our souls, you know. Yes. It's just so good for them. We have to feel. We have to do what he says. Come We've got to have the fear of God. We've got to obey Holy Spirit. We cannot control him. Yeah. Like yeah. anybody that you see moving in words of knowledge, they are not just going down the street healing everything with a cane. They are moving yeah. with words of knowledge and yeah. listening to the Lord and seeing people healed. So some of my favorite miracles that I saw 
where mm -hmm. God stretched my faith. One was uh, where a girl had metal rods in her spine. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I never saw metal healed out of a spine. And I knew the Lord wanted to heal her because Monday had gotten a clear word of knowledge for this girl, like really clear mm -hmm. word of knowledge. And the Lord mm -hmm. wanted to heal her. And so I was praying over her. Nothing happened. Mm -hmm. Nothing happened. In April Monday prayed over her. Nothing happened. Yet we got this word of knowledge. So uh -huh. why would the Lord like, come on? Lord. Come yeah. on. So like, there's this mystery in God. That's so fun. Sometimes God has <laughs> like, so the, right. <laughs> he, he, he builds these mazes for us to like go on an adventure with him so we oh, can boy. find the treasure at the end. But we had so much fun with the twist and turns to find oh, the treasure. Man. You Come know, on. you've got to enjoy the journey of God and love it and enjoy it. So yeah. I was like, God, this doesn't make any sense. I'm confused. <laughs> Why is this girl not getting healed? Okay. So what am I supposed to do? And I just got persistent. I just felt the mm -hmm. persistence of the Lord on this one. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, he wants you to pursue, go after, press Come in, on. you know, and I you felt it. I felt the fire on it. You know, I Come can on. feel when I'm not with him and when I'm not, you know, I have to mm -hmm. learn and yield every day. And there's times when I'm preaching, it's Come like, on. you know, I, I could feel when I'm flowing and I can feel when, no, the Lord's not going that direction, even though I was trying to, and he'll pull me back and, and he'll help me get back in the flow of where he's going. And then the glory mm -hmm. and the anointing hits when you're in obedience. Come and I on. felt the glory come on me and like push through and press through. I Amen. prayed for this girl for 30 minutes. Wow. I love that. You Nothing was happening. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> and I told, now hang on. I told her, I said, check. I had so much, I had so much faith. I could feel <laughs> God in it. I don't know why I was being you so crazy. Yeah, I could yeah. feel God in it. Come on. I was like, check again. She, <laughs> I love she, it. She couldn't bend down to even tie her shoes because of the metal rods in her back. Ouch. I was like, try to tie your shoes again. She's trying to try, try. She tries to try. Dream, dream. Nothing happens, April. And I'm like, God, I don't know what to do. Okay, I guess I'll just give up. I don't know. So the mm. meeting's over. I turn around and I happen to catch <laughs> out of the side of my eye her going out the door. Wow. I ran after her and Come I on. said, check again. Again. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Come on, guys. We have to be annoying sometimes. Yeah. She didn't have yeah. faith. She was like, please leave me alone, you crazy woman. <laughs> you already bombarded me for 30 minutes. Minutes. Yeah. Obviously, Amen. God's not healing me. April, she went to bend down, and she was able to bend all the way Come down. On. And she flipped out <laughs> she looked up at me with the biggest eyes and she was like oh. i can't do this i can't oh. do this i'm not <laughs> supposed to be able to do this <laughs> the metal was bending or it was gone Amen. one or the other come on that I was that. a really cool story of the lord stretching me you know oh. don't give up if you feel the fire and the faith on it sometimes don't give up sometimes be the That's persistent good. widow you know, and yeah, that's okay, on. but you can feel, you know, you have to feel it by your inner voice. The, the, the Lord leads us by the inner witness. So you have come to on. go with what your inner witness is saying. Amen. You guys know that, you know how, when something feels right, when it doesn't feel right, that's your inner Amen. witness. And that's how Jesus talks to us. So follow that inner witness. It doesn't have to be the formula. It doesn't have to yeah. be how you saw it before. God come might be completely different. Just what is your inner witness saying, right, April? It is. Yeah, I love how he stretches me in that. Because, like, the first the first time I see my husband, you know, pray for metal and, you know, 20 different times. And so I went to a woman's retreat. And I'm like, all right, God, I'm just going to go for it. I went for it. She's like, oh, my gosh, it's gone. Like, you can see her face light up. She said, wow. it's gone. It's gone. I don't feel it in my foot anymore. And I was so excited. So I thought, oh, yeah, the second one's just going to be so easy. I'm going to pray for the second one, uh -huh. and it's it's going to happen. And boom, I prayed, and nothing happened. And I just said, okay, God, I'll just keep going. And I prayed for again. Nothing happened. I didn't do the 30-minute thing. I just didn't feel <laughs> the lift in my spirit. But it's so funny because yeah. even as people on here, I feel like they're, the reason we're sharing this are people on here, and they're in the healing or miracle, or God's using them in that way. You're so right. Just, and you know, you, you, you 
go a different way of whatever the Holy Spirit says. And sometimes he tells you to stop. And sometimes because of your obedience, I love what you said, your obedience. Yeah. You kept pressing in for that lady and kept pressing in because God loves. If you're on here and you need a miracle or you need a healing, God loves you and he doesn't want you to suffer. Yeah. And that's why, you know, the Lord uses his children. It's so ama it so amazes me. He uses his children to touch his children. Yeah. Like God could totally just like heal you in your bed, but he wants your brothers and sisters to play a part in it. And that is mm. so humbling because who are we? You know, we're just the, the people that the children that say, okay, I love my brother. I love my sister enough. Oh, there's somebody on here that has metal in their right arm. Let's oh, wow. go for it. Just wow. go for it. Just, just say whatever you want, Jen, and I'll add in and we'll go for it. Put your hand on your right arm, Tracy. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, just do it, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we just ask you, oh, we thank you that you caused us to release this testimony, Lord, that you quickened it and brought it to our remembrance. Yes. Um, is that causing you pain or is it causing you immobility? If you would, Yeah, Tracy, just share. just share. What's going with on with that? And just, Lord, right yeah. now, I ask for you to thank touch you, that in Jesus' name, that Absolutely. the mobility and the pain, Lord, would, would leave in Jesus' name. Lord, we just yeah. ask that whatever you want to do with that father, we just ask that that mm. metal would vanish. I just believe Come that you on, want to do yes. a miracle for her mm. because you have us sharing these stories. I don't think that is coincidental. Yeah. And yeah. Lord, just ask right now for mm. miracle yes. power flowing in Tracy in yeah. Jesus name. In Lord, Jesus we can just name. touch that arm right now where the, yeah. the metal has caused problems, uh, immobility, mm. pain, um, yeah. not, you know, not functioning with the, the joint, not being able to bend all the way. Lord, yeah. right now we yeah. just thank you for mobility. Tracy, begin yeah. to check and move that around. And, uh, yeah, just, just let us know if you're feeling heat, fire, electricity, anything, Tracy. And we just, we just curse any trauma that could be hindering that right now. We command it out. And I just come in agreement with Jennifer. We just command that metal to dissolve. We just thank you, Lord, that you're just turning it into bone and keep us updated as we're praying, Tracy. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. But I, I just love how people like to, they do healing schools and we've done tons and I love them. And I glean and I, I take from my tool belt from each one. But mm -hmm. it's really, like you said, it's the inner voice. It's the Holy Spirit. You have to, that's what I love about you guys, that you cultivate Holy Spirit. Just talk about that. She's feeling warmth. Come on, so, Lord, we you, just Lord. continue to release wow. and together in unity with Jennifer. Right now, we just release together in unity that that, uh, that healing anointing, that creative miracle, Lord, that you just burn away that metal by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. And that that metal is gone and turned into bones. Yes. I ask you, Lord, to continue to breathe on that. So keep us updated, Tracy, whether you yeah. can feel it, not feel it, whether it's gone, whether you know, as continues to be on fire. Yes. But, um, now Monday has but, a testimony where he prayed. I don't know if you've heard him tell this, but he prayed over a guy that had metal in his bones that he was completely shattered because he had gotten hit by a car and he had to get oh, wow. back together, um, you know, with metal Jesus. all through his legs. And Monday, I think had a word of knowledge for him, prayed for him. The guy's completely healed all the pain oh, left in his body he was able to walk, but not just that he went back to his doctor and got x-rays Come on. And the metal had Come turned on. to bone. Amen. There was no metal in I love it. his body and brand Amen. new bone had bone. appeared. Amen. Now that's one of I the craziest it. things we've ever heard. Come on, Jesus. So that we release Tracy that over right Tracy now. right now. Lord, yeah. Just release that testimony oh that your angels, Father, that hearken to your voice would release that yes. testimony over her yes. in Jesus' name. You love her. You love Amen. her. That's what I love about you guys. Your risk takers, yeah. you know, and, and your risk takers, and and you, I just love that you cultivate that risk because that's what that's what Jesus did. Yeah, you know, he risked for the Father. Yeah, he done. You know, he did with the, what he's seen the Father doing, and um, so I'll just let you share a little bit about Holy Spirit, like whatever you want to share. Just feel free. Whatever I want to share. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, I was going to tell a couple more stories about, um, yeah, go for it. Yeah, being, 
and and this might help people too. Um, I don't understand why this is, but it seems like the Lord does signature miracles with people. Come on, and I don't understand mm. it. I cannot give <laughs> you the biblical es- explanation. I cannot give you oh. the prophetic significance. I don't know why, <laughs> but God picks that. a certain miracle. He's God, right? <laughs> yeah, and He will make it keep manifesting. For example, Monday would see a. Uh, Lumps and cysts shrink out of people all the time. Amen. And he would just pray for people. Yeah. And there it goes. Lumps and cysts. (laughs) And I said, hey, we're one in the flesh. If he's getting it, I'm getting it. So I went after (laughs) it. I love that. That's what I do to my husband. I do the same thing. (laughs) It's like a Holy Ghost challenge in a healthy way. Yes. Hey, if he gets that, I get it. That's what I say, too. (laughs) So, yeah, I've seen that, too. And then I I saw the Lord a lot with me, and I don't know why, unless it's it's symbolic. I believe it it might be symbolic in a way of a prophetic word for the body of Christ. Like with Monday, we could say, okay, the Lord's um, restoring the nurturing to the body of Christ because it was always, Mm. you know, breast, lumps, and cysts that he would see shrink. The women would go in the restroom. They would check it. They would come back. They would tell us uh, it was gone. We've seen, like, lemon-sized uh, knots that they said would wow. shrink down to like a green pea size and then into nothing and cyst on people's face. And I saw wow. this happen too. So the Lord started using <laughs> me, like letting me see it. It's like Come on. so exciting to see the Lord do something. But this lady had an egg sized uh, cyst on her face. Um, and after I prayed for her, it shrank. And then after I prayed for her again, it shrank. So sometimes you pray again, you pray again. It's like when the, Jesus asked the man, you know, what do you see? And he said he saw trees, you know, and then Jesus on. prayed for him another time and, and his eyes were cleared. And we hear come stories on. of like Todd White where he'll pray for people. And then sometimes mm-hmm. he prays again, they get better. He prays again, they get better. He prays again, they get better. So when you come pray on. and something's happening and the people say they feel better, that's not your cue to leave and say, praise Come the Lord. On. It's better. No, uh, uh, we want it all the way pressing. on. Yeah. Amen. Keep going. Because when the Lord starts something, he's faithful and just to finish what he's completed. Right. Come on. When he starts something that the progression is there, which means you stay there and you watch God do this miracle. So we watched mm-hmm. and it took five minutes for the cyst to shrink off this woman's face until it's completely wow. gone. And the husband testified, yes, it's gone. Like he it's knew gone. he saw it. We, we watched it. Praise God. And yeah, he testified. It would, it was already starting to shrink in the glory April before Come we on. even had the word of knowledge. And she came up, the Lord was already starting to shrink it. It was Come halfway on. down and she was I telling us how big it had been. <laughs> And I've seen the Lord with, um, so, so, so it seems prophetic that the Lord is, but mostly the cysts we see in the, um, you know, the breast area, the nurturing, the wow. nurture, the healing of the nurturing. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that makes sense, Love right? That. Yeah. Amen. And then it's so um, needed. It the nurturing. Is. Yeah. It's so needed. I, I've the seen, mother. um, yeah. I've seen a few cysts shrink. I went from one in, uh, Kenya when we went with Charlie Shamp's team. And it started out the size of a football, and it mm-hmm. went all the way down to a baseball, but it didn't go any further. I'm like, wow. Lord, but I've seen these little tiny shrink. Like, yeah. why didn't why didn't this one go all the way? We went after it. We went after it. We yeah. went after it. We went after it. We went after it. But it, I love how you just keep doing it. Yeah, you just keep and going. And I'm sure it was going to keep shrinking. You know. Yeah, come on. And so that could have been scar tissue on. too. Yeah, that's that good. Real. That's good. I can't remember if we prayed over scar tissue or not. Yeah. But I'm going to keep pressing into that. I want to see yeah. if anybody on here while we're, while you're sharing that Pacific testimony, is anybody on here have a cyst? Cyst, yeah. Because we'll take t- time to pray for you before we move on to the next story. Mm-hmm. Um, so just say, hey, that's me or... Um, or we'll just, we'll just release it. Cause this is going to yeah. go on podcast. So right. We'll just, just pray Jennifer and I'll come in agreement and we'll just... Okay, Father, we just thank you right now. You're faithful to watch over our testimonies. You said we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. And Lord, you love it when we testify of your glory and how you've done miracles. You love it. And you get all the glory, Lord. It's not because of anyone. It's not because of me. It's not because of April. It's not because of Monday Martin. It's not because of anyone that moves in in healing or glory. It's not because they're so great that you've decided to do miracles. Lord, it's because you're lifting up the name of your son. No one gets glory, but 
but Jesus Christ. Come and on. we lift up that testimony of Jesus right now in the blood yes. of the Lamb, Father. Thank and you, I Jesus. thank you right now for the word of this testimony of the yes. cysts shrinking and of the nurturing yes. of the body of Christ coming back, that you're restoring the body of Christ and you're recalling oh, her Jesus. back to her first love. There is a recall released on the body of Christ right now to come back to her first love and move in the compassion and the healing ministry of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And Lord, I just ask right now that mm -hmm. every cyst and every tumor, every lump, every mm -hmm. growth right now, yes. I don't care how small it is. I don't care how unsightly it is, even moles yes, that are on. irritating yes. and, and annoying and have bothered you. Yes, Anything that's Lord. nagging you that is a growth on your body. Right now, yes, we curse Lord. it in Jesus' name. Yes, we curse the life of it. We command it to shrink. Yes. We command it to go. Father, I thank you thank right you, now. God. If that's you, just put your hand on that. Begin to check it. Begin yes. to check the size of it right now. We yes. curse it. We command it to shrink. Go right yes. now in Jesus' name. Yes. Jesus Go right name. now in the power of the Holy thank Spirit. You, Fathers, thank you for releasing your healing fire and your glory yes. right now in them. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes. Lord. Amen. Amen. I just come in agreement. You covered it all, girl. That's good. Amen. <laughs> just wreck them, Lord. Oh, the glory. Wreck them. Bring, just let Jesus be glorified and bring the testimony because that's why we're on yeah. here. We're sharing so that you can grow in your gifting, your calling, and in your relationship with the Lord. This, this, like I was telling Jennifer, the whole idea of this broadcast came from the Holy Spirit. Woo. Woo. He just loves to be honored. Yeah. He loves to be cherished. He loves to be loved. He loves to be talked about. He loves to be the center of what you're doing. And he wants to be the center of your life. And that's why we're sharing how to cultivate the glory we're sharing about him bringing you a miracle, you yeah. know, with the Jesus was the doorway. So if you're on here and you're believing for a miracle and we haven't caught on a word of knowledge for it yet, don't get discouraged. We'll call out some at the end, but if you need something specific, um, type it in. And at the end, we'll scroll back through and, yes. and pray for people before we get off. But yeah, yes. I love that Jennifer. I love how God's using you in miracles because the, the nurturing side of you guys, it's it's like your baby, <laughs> you know. It's you don't see people that carry the love of the Christ that so desire um, the heart of the Father, and just you can just tell you're in love with them. Yeah, yeah. you can just tell, and that is that is powerful because He wants each person on here to feel that same way and you I look at the sacrifices and the prices you've paid and and then move in with your family and and you don't care it's all for him you, you just you can just tell you know you're real <laughs> that's why we always loved you guys we just loved it yeah. And it's just, it's grace. I mean, it's grace. Yeah. Amen. You can look at, I mean, I look at, you know, people, I, this needs to be taught, talked about a lot. People Come look on. at ministers and think like they're living so perfectly. I'm not saying oh, like on. we're in sin or anything like that, but I'm saying, yeah. and they'll look at the miracles and the healings and the things happening mm. in the ministry. And they'll think that we're validated by mm. the miracle. Wow. Come we're on. Validated by That's God good. because of the glory. And listen, if a miracle happens, I'm as shocked and in awe as anyone. Amen. And Me listen, too, girl. If, if the glory shows up, I'm yeah. weeping just yeah. as much as anyone else because yeah, I know and understand being mm. under grace. And when it's mm. all over, April, it's not going to be because I moved in miracles or saw healings or, or traveled That's or good. preached or any of that is going to matter when I stand before Jesus. The Come only thing on. that's going to matter is did I, was I full of faith? Come did on. I know him? Yeah. Did I listen to his voice? My personal life is accountable before God, aside from the Come miracles. On. You know what? God will do miracles, whether people are genuine or not. Amen. I'll, just, I'll just give y'all will. will. It's true. God will do yep. miracles because he he's glorifying he Jesus. You, yeah. People can yeah. be walking in sin, guys, and be Come moving on. in miracles. And I'm telling you, I believe Come the on. judgment will be more severe for them. And mm -hmm. like it, it makes me afraid yeah. when Good God starts Lord. doing miracles. Amen. And like I'm, I am afraid for my own life and I feel the glory all over me. And, yeah. But we personally, guys, our personal yeah. lives are accountable for before God. Come on. 
we're not validated because we have a ministry. Monday and I, we I talk about it. this all the time. We're not validated because we see a miracle. We make sure that our understanding of grace is front and center. It's not like, Amen. oh, God did a miracle. So he's saying he approves of us. No. Amen. No. Amen. He approves of you. Come on. Because of his son, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. There Amen. is nothing higher. Whoa, I feel the power of God all over me. Yeah, there's no significance. Jesus yeah. Christ. And we won't even lift up miracles higher than Jesus yeah. Christ. So this needs to be talked about because people love to push mm. the miracles and the healings and the glory yeah. you know, and all these things. But yeah. it's all grace. None of them own it. None of yeah. them do. And if God Amen. starts moving all in Jesus. miracles and I see him doing it, it's because he's chosen it. It has nothing Amen. to do with me. I, I, I can't, you know, take any kind of credit. I, what you see is Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit alone, not Jennifer Amen. Martin, not Monday Martin. It's like Catherine not Coleman April. would say, um, this is the Holy Spirit, not Catherine Coleman. Yeah. Yeah. She would always tell yeah. people, Amen. this is the Holy Spirit. Yeah. You know, Amen. she had that fear, Amen. that intimacy with the Lord and that relationship. And she just followed yeah. his voice. But we have to understand it's grace. Even if we hear words of knowledge, it's grace. It's a gift. Yeah. It's Come grace. On. It's not because we're awesome, you know. I love that. So I anybody feel glad can move this. in it. Anybody can move in healing. Anybody can see miracles because Come Jesus on. will magnify his name. Period. I love that. It's so true. <laughs> it's so true. I feel led to share this. Some yeah. people were responding to what we were praying for. Um, I heard somebody telling a story one time. I don't even remember who it was, but it was it broke my heart. That it was like an open vision they had, and they were in this church service. And they seen Jesus like in the corner of the room and he was just crying. Like he was just so broken and they mm -hmm. shared. I was like, really? He was standing in the corner of the room. Why is Jesus standing in the corner of the room? And the, the person said in the vision, Jesus was telling me they're I'm not in it. They're not doing anything that I want them to do. They're not. It's, it's just all head knowledge. It's mm -hmm. all, you know, no heart knowledge. It's I'm not in it. And it just grieved him. Yeah. And I just, after hearing that, I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I just, I can't even imagine trying to, I can't do any of this stuff. Like God has to, like you said, God has to do it all. I yeah. can't even be doing this broadcast without the Holy Spirit's idea. Like I never would have ever came on social media ever right. if it wasn't for the Holy Ghost. But I love right. how you said, because when Jesus is lifted up, all men are drawn unto him. And if you're under the sound of our voice and you don't know Jesus, and you, you don't know, you've never accepted him in your heart, just say, Jesus, I want to know you. I want to know who they're talking about. What I just want to experience you right now. I believe you died on the cross for me. Just come into your to my heart. Just say, come into my heart. Make yourself real to me. I want to receive you. I want to experience you, Jesus, and experience. And then after you accept Jesus in your heart, just ask the Lord. Just say, let me feel your presence. Just let me feel your presence because he's the one that's going to touch your wounds. He's the one that can heal your body. Every breakthrough you need is in Jesus. It's in the Father and it's in the Holy Spirit. All three in one. They work together. And each one of them, I just love um, how the Father disciplines. And I love how the Holy Spirit is the creator and the friend and I love that Jesus as a brother, you know, they each have personalities and you can cultivate that. Yes. Um, thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. So somebody said when we were praying for the cysts, they thought warm tingling come over their body while you're praying. So, Lord, we just bless that. We just yeah. bless what you're Lord. already doing, Lord. And we just say keep moving on that. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I felt like the Lord Jesus. wants to heal some spine issues too, because he's yeah. bringing to my remembrance um, how he has healed and straightened backs that mm. I've seen specifically <laughs> um, with scoliosis. Uh, yeah, scoliosis on. from birth healed. And I wasn't yes. looking for it or going after it or expecting it in any no. way, just <laughs> seeing the Lord do it. And then it, it's mm. like he continued doing it. It happened once. And then mm -hmm. he, and then I started seeing it happen on the broadcast. I started seeing it happen where, when I went places and it took oh, about wow. a few times for me to realize that God was continually 
straightening mm -hmm. spines and aligning the spine, Come on. aligning the backbone, Amen. you know, and I know that it is prophetic because the Lord is, you know, the back and the spine is what holds up the body of Christ. It's, mm. it's the alignment. It's the, wow. it's what causes it to stand, you know, it's what causes it to stand mm. strong. It's the strengthening of the body. And the Lord is saying that he's strengthening the body again, that he's aligning the, the body appropriately right now, mm -hmm. that there's a whole shift in the, in the earth right now. And it's all Come prophetic. On. It's all signs and wonders. You know, the Lord does yeah. these things, you know, to, to show us, Come to on. talk to us. So if you have spine issues, uh, any on. kind of scoliosis or curvature of the spine, uh, back pain, a uh, damage from wrecks, any kind of vertical uh, vertebra damage, um, uh, cracks, fractures in the vertebra, um, problem in the cartilage, even with with effects from osteoporosis. I feel that the Lord is is releasing healing over you right now, and I just feel the there's Lord people responding. Yeah, yeah, He's moving up your back right now. There, there's on. the fire of God, oh, like moving up your back right now, on, especially Jesus. in the middle back and the lower back region oh. in the spine. The Lord is create. He's creating that. He's creating. He's creating new vertebra there. He's creating and restoring, and then realigning. And uh, mm -hmm. right now the pain is lifting. Paulette's on here. Paulette's back was healed on one of the Awaken the Heart sessions. Oh, I love it. And the Lord yes. just did that. And it wasn't from a word of knowledge. It just got, got touched. And Deborah, for your son, yeah, mm -hmm. there's the Lord is moving on that right now. I feel the anointing. He's wanting to touch mm -hmm. that, the backs mm -hmm. right now. And you can just stand in, in the gap for your son if he's not yeah. with you. Just lay your hand on your spine and just say, Lord, I take this right now for my son. And just move, Lord, in your healing power right now. I just command backs to align, straighten, and heal in Jesus' name. Thank you for your fire, Lord. Thank you for your grace right now. Natasha, you're feeling the fire. Is that, are you, are you having, uh, if that's you and that's a word for you, I want you guys just to let us know. I know some of you did reply. Your back was healed in a service at your church. Oh, that's awesome. Was that that's when I was awesome. there, Jennifer, at Night Church, Winchester? Was that a different time? That's amazing. Natasha's back is on fire. Come on, Lauren. Doctor, no. Uh, we were, we break that curse off. Yeah. Off of Trina right now in Jesus' name. Yes. We just released that testimony of you, Trina. Let the fire of God just begin to touch your back. Just breathe yeah, it in. On, just, just put your breathe hands out and just receive. Yeah. The Lord's going to do it by just, his grace. Yeah. He's just touching you. You don't even have to like, you know, stir it up, have faith for it. Doesn't matter. You just lay yeah. there and let Holy Ghost do surgery on you right now. Lord, yes. I thank you for Trina. The fire of God in her back. We rebuke that paralysis. And we say, come on, Paulette. You had a miracle. You pray over Trina too right now. We yeah. say right now, new back. Come on, everybody. New, new back for yeah, Trina. Just declare new in back Jesus over name. Yeah, in Jesus' name. And Natasha name. has been up all night with, with uh, sorry, um, April, if you want to read the comments. You no, can... go for it. No, no, go for I'm it. I'm so used to reading them. Yeah, go for going it. With go it. for it. <laughs> no, no competition and here girl. that pain I'm is leaving you. you natasha is is Amen. that pain leaving you you're feeling the fire Amen. all over wow thank lord, you lord, lord for that right now lord touch mary lord, with lord. this word as you're touching Amen. other backs right now we just let that fire yeah. jump from natasha Amen. over on to mary in jesus name <laughs> yeah. natasha yeah. send some fire to mary right now those yeah. of you that are feeling and you're getting healed and Paulette, mm -hmm. that has a testimony of healing. And Jennifer, that has the testimony of the back. You guys can release your testimony on others. Yeah. And amen. Tracy, you, know, you can release what you're feeling. If you're feeling the fire on you right now, would you release that fire on those that still need a touch yes. right now in Jesus' name? Yes, Lord. Lord yes, thank Lord. You for we that. thank you for that creative order that you're bringing in people's time, Lord. Ooh. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. I know I had a word of knowledge for a guy on here, and I don't want to forget to give it. Yeah. And it may be on the replay, and some people can message us. Um, I, I, the Lord really made it clear that somebody on here has a niece, and they have a terminal ill condition. Mm. So if that's you, um, or if you're watching the replay, and, and this word of knowledge is for you, or you're on here, you have a niece that has a terminal ill condition, just let us know. Thank you, Thank Lord. You. 
Thank you, Jesus. New alignment in their back. Do it again. So if you have any changes as we're just sharing and talking, just share. Pain's going. If you feel heat, just do, try to do something you couldn't do. Just like test it out. Maybe bend down like what Jennifer was talking about. Um, yeah, just everybody that's on here that's had a spine miracle, keep releasing that Thank fire. You, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> it's getting hot in here, Jennifer. <laughs> Look, my, my cheeks are showing up through my foundation. Now you know I'm on oh, fire. Oh, see. Oh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's it. It usually doesn't show one. up, the redness. Look at that. Come on. Fire of the Holy Ghost. He's an all-consuming fire, guys. Yes. The scripture, that's the frick scripture. He's an all-consuming fire. Yes. Uh, all right. Let's, let's do another one. Sharon, oh, oh. any of them stick out you feel like you're supposed to share? Oh, me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> any, any certain healing? I, I feel like there's hunger here. Yeah. There's hunger. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, thank you, it. Lord. I know that fire is just moving right now. I still feel that fire all over my back. And yeah. uh, just for a little school of the spirit, that. like when you're feeling the manifestation of it, it means it's still in mm -hmm. the, um, it's still in the working. So mm -hmm. when I, when, like when I'm ministering, um, and I still feel the fire on that place on my body. I know that God's still doing that healing and he's working on it. So um, there's things happening right now. Okay. Yeah. Somebody's, there's things happening right now. There's still healing happening in your back. You're, you're feeling that fire right now. So the Lord is still manifesting that. Um, I want you to believe for it right now and just put your hands out and just continually receive, keep letting the Lord yeah. pour down through your spine, just lay there breathing in receive it and just let that Amen. pain go on into Jesus. Cause that's what he's doing right now. He's taking, Amen. taking back pain. He's realigning backs. Amen. He's healing the fractures. I can't believe there's that many people that needed. Yeah. There's a lot healing on here. Yeah. On here amazing. Tonight. Praise God. So father, we thank Praise you for God. that. We glorify we you. We thank that. you. Yeah. Jesus do it. Lord, just oh, any God. infirmity or affliction, we command that off. Anything, any hindering spirits, we command that off. There's somebody on here. I, I did get some more requests, and we I won't miss it, guys. But somebody, Deborah Miller, you're asking for a word. And immediately when I seen that, and Jennifer can release one, and she's seen one for you, too. I seen, like, evangelism fire on your feet. And I think you're going to feel the fire of the Holy Spirit just hit your feet. Because I see you, you just have that, that revival fire in you. So mm -hmm. I just declare that over the Lord, you just give her a new hunger and that she would stir and she would receive that. So Deborah, if you're still on here, just let me know. And I'll see if uh, um, Jennifer has anything for you. Yeah. And somebody just put a request about their leg and knee going for an MRI. I wow. forgot the name. I saw the name and it just Andrea, Andrea, yeah. Andrea. Yeah, yeah. So we just released that healing over Andrea right now. We command mm -hmm. that healing Lord to just mm -hmm. go down through her leg and her knee right now. New yes, knees, Lord. new leg healing, mm -hmm. nerve pain, go problems in the nerves go yes. in Jesus name. Yes. Thank you father for that right now. And Thank the hip you, and moving through that hip Lord. Thank you for realigning that hip. Yeah, yeah. You, somebody had on here, um, they want to clear so for blood pressure. So, Lord, we just yeah. declare creative order of their blood pressure right now. We just command it to normalize yes. all of the arteries, all the veins, just in creative order. And somebody else had one for ADHD and anxiety. So we just come together in unity and we rebuke any anxiety right now any trauma or ptsd we just curse it at its roots and we command it off of you in the name of jesus and we just speak over the chemical imbalance if there's any chemical imbalance over the adhd we declare the mind of christ and we just command all the chemicals to be balanced in your mind right now right now thank you jesus you can add anything you want jennifer yeah you guys just receiving the glory right now you just put yeah. your hands out and the Lord Thank knows you, what Lord. you have need of even before Thank you Jesus. ask him. And I want Thank you just you, to stretch Lord. out your hand to the Lord right now and receive yeah. in the glory. Just receive, yeah. Everything don't pray in your in spirit, glory. man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, don't pray in your spirit, man, right now. Just go into receiving mode because when you pray, you're pushing out and you're not receiving. So just right. rest like Jennifer is talking about. Oh, yes. That's so good, April. Yeah. Just receive. Just, just receive. receive. Let the glory wash mm -hmm. over you. His wave upon wave just wash over you right Jesus. now. 
Lord, I ask for your Thank spirit you. of peace yeah. to just wash over each one Thank right you, now. Lord. Just the peace of God Everyone. that's beyond understanding. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I ask Jesus. for that overwhelming peace that causes them to come out of the afflictions, mm -hmm. comes out of the stress, coming out of the problems, yes. of all the issues, of all the things that have weighed upon them, Lord. And just let your peace cause a lightness. Let that anointing yes. just drop on them and break every yoke right now, whatever it is, oh, whatever Lord. affliction that the enemy might yeah. be trying to put on you or on your body, the anointing breaks the yoke. Lord, release yes. your anointing. Lord, we ask for you to release your anointing thank you. by your grace. Father, I thank you. I thank you for touching people. We thank you for healing people and encouraging people. Even Latarsha, you said your son's not speaking yet. So, Lord, we just, I just stand in the gap for him. And, Lord, we just break any generational curses that could be hindering her son right now by the yeah. power of Jesus Christ. I repent for any and all iniquity in that bloodline. I command yeah. everything to be reversed under the blood of Jesus. And we just declare generational blessings over that four-year-old. I would just release the glory. If you're there, just put your hand on your four-year-old son and say, Lord, we just release your glory. Jesus, we just asked you to touch them. Yeah. We just asked you to touch them. And Latarsha, you were asked in how you belong to, to be baptized, that you've never been baptized with the spirit and evidence of speaking in tongues. Just You just have to release it. Yeah. You just open yeah. your mouth and, and just move with Holy Spirit. Just say, Holy Spirit, come. Yes. yes. Just, just receive it. So if you've never said a word in tongues before, just whatever, if it sounds like baby, right, Jennifer? If it sounds yes. like a baby, just... Yada yada, shukofora. Anything that comes in your mouth, you just open your mouth, and he will fill it. But he, you're the one that has yeah. to open it. But as you do, he'll just flow. Yes, it's gonna loose that tongue right now. I actually yes. felt that even right when you started praying for that boy, mm -hmm. I started Thank feeling a manifestation Jesus. on my tongue, and on, the, the Lord is loosing the tongue of on, of the little boy, the little four year old. He's, yes, I believe, baby. he's loosing that tongue. I believe I'm, I'm feeling that. As a word of knowledge that mm -hmm. he is going to loose his tongue. So we speak to his tongue to be loose. Amen. We right speak now. to the spirit, the, that mute spirit. We yeah. speak to it right now. We command it to loose that boy in Jesus' name. Yeah. We command it to get its hands yeah. off. And we speak to the tongue to loose right now in Jesus, Jesus' name. And we, we speak Jesus. the loosening of the tongue. And, he, and right after comes a, 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 a request for their tongue to be loosed in their prayer mm -hmm. language. At the same time, there's a loosening Good. there. So there's Amen. a loosening of your tongue to be able to pray the mysteries unto God in an unknown Amen. tongue. Lord, Amen. I just thank you for that spirit of faith on them right now to be loosed in their tongue and to just yield to the Holy Spirit, Amen. the mysterious languages of God in Jesus' name. Man, I feel Come the glory on. so strong. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I do too. I'll we'll just keep, there's so many requests on here. I don't want to miss oh, you guys. Oh, hallelujah. Guys. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Just, let's just let's just release the glory for it. Lord, we come together in unity. We honor you, yes. Jesus. Thank we you. thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank, thank you, you for what you are doing. You are touching these people on this broadcast right now. We just thank you for your glory. Yes. We just release your glory. If you need anything and we haven't called it out, just receive in the glory right now. Yeah. I just see him setting people free. We speak to that spirit of suicide. We command it off right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we command any spirits of death off right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, we speak hope. Whoa. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Whoa. Any vertebrae? Lord, we just continue to bless the vertebrae. We just command creative order and unity. Yes. Whoa. We just speak to eye eye conditions. We just command 2020 right now in the glory. Thank you. If you need anything, just Thank receive you. it right now. Even if you're watching the replay or you're listening to this on podcast, you. receive your miracle as we're praying. We just release the glory. Send us in your testimonies. Yeah. If you're on here, share your testimony. Yeah, Thank there's healing know. moving, guys. Just keep pulling on the Lord. You know, Receiving. get your get your yeah. spiritual lasso out and just and just you know rope it around <laughs> Jesus, it. and you just 
You just pull on, you just, you just keep receiving. You know, he's going to touch you because he loves you. Just put your hands up to him and just wait for his beautiful touch. Yeah, so Whatever it is you're asking him for right now. Yeah, he he's, he it. wants to touch you. He wants to pour it on you. You got to know that you yeah. got to know he's not yeah. holding it back from you. He's not holding it just, back. just, just yeah, give that. yourself to him. Just, just let yeah. him bless you. Let him love you. He wants to love you. Let him in your heart. Just there's yeah. healing moving right now. The power of God is all over my hands. The Lord mm -hmm. is laying him, his hands upon you himself. Yeah. Jesus yeah. is laying his hands upon you right now. The Holy spirit, the blessed hand of God, the blessed mm -hmm. hand of God is coming upon your head right now. And he is, mm -hmm. he is healing your body. Somebody there's, you have a problem mm -hmm. in your left upper thigh. There's something with the mm -hmm. left upper thigh on the top mm -hmm. in the center. There's some kind of problem there. I'm feeling the fire of God manifest there right now on my leg. You're having some mm -hmm. pain there on your left upper thigh you, uh, on the top part. If that's you, the Lord's healing that right now. Just start Thank pulling. You, See, pull on the Lord and, and he'll yes. reveal things. He'll yes. reveal things. Um, yes, just receive. Lord. There's healing moving right now. Receive. Even if you don't get a word of knowledge, you can be healed in the atmosphere. You Amen. can be healed in the glory. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people just healed in the glory, mm -hmm. not from words of knowledge, just standing there. The healing starts moving mm -hmm. through the room and people start raising their hands saying something just left, something just mm -hmm. healed, something just just something just went. For example, a girl with two years of vertigo go, she just decided to believe that God had healed her. We said, Hey, the glory's moving in the room. Check your bodies right now. She got down on the, on the, the floor and started rolling around to see if she had vertigo and she starts screaming and she jumps up and she tells everybody that the vertigo that she'd had for two years had left her head. I mean, she was having to be on medicine. She could never sleep at night. I mean, the woman's life was wrecked. She was hey, never getting on. sleep. I mean, it ruined her life uh -huh. and she was healed. And I took her testimony and the whole time she's looking at me like, she's like, uh -huh. she did not believe that this just happened and she was Thank healed. You. So whatever it is, even if it's not yeah, called out, the, the glory is going to Come fill on. your temple right now. The glory yeah. fills the temple you, Jesus. and your Jesus. body is made whole. Your body is healed right now. Just receive yeah. the fire of God, wherever the pain is, the fire of God, let yeah. it come on that right now. Whatever yeah. the diagnosis is, let the fire yeah. God come on that right now. There's yeah. healing moving in your body. I want you to start checking your bodies, and I want you to let us know on the screen what's happening for you. People are, yeah, as people are saying, I'm just scrolling back through some of the comments. I just want to share this because it's funny. I saw Brent said, the Hey, Brent, I love you. Hey, Brent. <laughs> love you guys, too. Somebody said, I feel like I'm on a heating pad, but I'm not. So I saw that. that. I was praying for somebody the other day, Jennifer. It's the first time I've ever heard this. Me and my husband were praying for somebody for kidney stones. So wow. if you're on here and you have kidney stones, just receive this yeah. testimony. We prayed for the fire of God, like you said, just releasing the glory, just blessing her, commanding the kidney stones to dissolve. She texted me like four hours later and she said, there's fire. There's fire, and I had to put an ice pack on me because there's still fire. Wow. Like, Praise God. Burn out every single one of those kidney stones. <laughs> Nobody's ever said that before. Wow. So if you're on here, and this is the first time you felt fire, it's just Jesus. It's just the yeah. healing anointing. It's the Holy Ghost. Like yeah. she said, the glory is so heavy. Just receive. Yeah. Just claim that. Yeah, claim that for your mom that's in the hospital right now. Yeah, right now. Just, we just send that to her. Just sit. Yeah. Yeah, if you need anything. Um, cataract I see in the right eye. Feel the fire in it right now. Come on, the Lord's touching that cataract. Come and on. April had a word about eyes. Come on, Lord. Yeah, yeah. I just seen something in the right eye. So, Lord, that was that you said right. So, yeah. Lord, just command creative order to that eye right now. Thank you. For in Jesus' name, just receiving the glory. The glory's here right now. Like Jennifer said, we don't have to call it out. Just receive. Let J Jesus. Ooh, let Jesus minister to you. He just loves you. I always shake my head in the glory. <laughs> Me too. Me too. It's like, why did they do that? Well, it feels good. <laughs> and, and like, <laughs> amen. A lot of people are on oh. here are requesting for yeah. prayer for their children. So Lord, yes. we just come together in Thank unity. You, and we just release the fire over the children. It's, yes. Let your glory fall on them too, Lord. Just touch them. If there's any child yeah. under the sound of our voice that needs a miracle in the glory, we just say, Lord, do it. We just declare it forth. 
Yes. Whoa. Any chromosome abnormalities? Whoa. Any chromosome abnormalities? We just command creative order right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Whoa. Any genetics? We just speak the DNA of Jesus Christ and command the creative order to the genetics. Yes. Well, I just, I just see a word curse on a certain child and I don't know. I just, I just want to break it because I have to be obedient to Holy Spirit. So when I just break those word curses off the child that you're showing me, I think this child is now like adopted and it's having some issues because of what the parents have spoke over that child. Will we break off that orphan spirit right now? Will we release that spirit of adoption on that child? And I, Lord, I just ask that you just release the love of the Father over that child right now. Right now, we just break off every every word that was not of you, and we release blessings on that child. We just, I just stand in the gap too, Lord. I break those generational curses. I just cut the cord of that iniquity. I release generational blessings on that child. And I command every spirit that's not of the Holy Spirit off that child. If this word's for your child, you're going to know. You're going to see a change in their behavior. I see the Lord changing. It's just like an open heart surgery on that child right now. Ooh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I see trauma to the vocal cords coming off right now. Oh. That's you. Just receive it. Just receive it. You can release whatever you want to release, Jen. Sure. Just you. flow together. Whatever the Holy Ghost. Yeah. yeah. It's so oh, thick. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we're just we're just filling the glory, guys. <laughs> For you guys that may it this is yes. the first time filling it. It's just it's just the Father. It's yeah, the glory is really yes. strong. Lord, I pray just, I thank you for people that are even jumping on right now, that, that your yeah. glory just covers them, yeah. just overshadows them, just fills them right now. You, Lord, just cause them to drink right now, a refreshing yeah. river of God that flows you, out of your throne. Yes, Lord. in Jesus' name, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Cause them to drink right now. Cause them to drink of the water. Cause them to come to the source, Lord. Yes. Cause them to come to the healing vein. Cause them yes. to come, Lord, yes. right now to the healing water. Cause them yes. to lift their face and just drink it in. Just drink it in right now. That life-giving yes. force. That yes. life-giving force that comes yes. from the only source. Yes. The you. living water. The fountain that flows out of Revelation 7:17. 7, it's in the midst where the throne of God is flows right out of the throne of God, the fountain that's in the midst of them, in the midst of where the lamb is. It says the lamb will lead us to the fountain, the living water. Just drink from that fountain right now. There's a fountain yes. flowing for you that you can always drink from and never yes. stops flowing and never yes. stops, never turns off, always there. You can lift yes. your face. You can just lift your face in it and you can just receive. Just yes. breathe it in, drink it in. Just like Jennifer oh, yeah. said, everything you need is in the glory. Yeah. Whether it's a breakthrough, whether your heart needs to be healed, yes. whether it's a creative miracle, whether you just are crying out to know God like Jennifer was, everything you need, just cultivate that glory. Cultivate it in your life. The breakthroughs will come. Your healing will manifest. Your creative miracle will manifest just keep pressing in keep receiving as the glory just continues to wash over you just receive Ooh. Ooh. just receive thank you lord lord thank you jesus i just want to release so, right now just the the dream language over you guys come on the lord wants to speak to you and increase the dream language uh where there's been uh, attacks and torment in the dreams we shut the door to tormenting yeah. spirits and attacks and lying spirits. And we just place the bloodline of Jesus Christ around you right now. Come on. Right now. We just speak the bloodline of Jesus around you, Come your on. home, your family, your territory is your territory. And the enemy Come has on. no right to come up in there. Come on. From the neighborhood where you live, we just bind those familiar spirits 
yeah that try to cross boundaries we rebuke them right now in jesus name and we speak to your dream language right now that you will receive dreams only by the holy spirit yeah only the holy spirit can speak into your dreams only the holy spirit is allowed to speak to you in the night in the night visions Only the voice of God will be heard in your sleep in Jesus name. Father, I thank you for that. I just bind them to your voice. I bind them to the voice of the Holy Spirit right now. Let your manifestation come. And I thank you for wisdom, Lord, and guidance and impartation in the dreams in the nighttime while they sleep. Father, right now, I thank you, Lord, that you're just releasing that uh, in Jesus name. Yeah, that's such a spirit of unity because I had in my notes to talk to you about dreams. The Lord was telling me that he <laughs> told you first. I love it. It's just unity. Yeah, I keep praying whatever you want to pray. I heard that from the Lord while I was closing my yeah. eyes. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to have you share um, you. just a little bit for somebody who maybe I like to explain dreams. I, I know the glory is just so heavy right now, guys. It's hard to talk. To with- it's hard to talk right <laughs> Do you now. You guys know what we're talking about. Like your tongue, it goes on stilts. That's yeah, what, like stilts. you can't maneuver it. Like if you were, you know, one of those people on the stilts that walk. <laughs> yeah. That's, and you're trying to walk on planet. stilts. <laughs> I love it. I know. I'm trying like to talk. The tongue's I'm trying like, to walk. Oh, God, I'm so glad Jennifer said that. So I'm if I'm talking really now. slow and drawn out, it's because I'm trying yeah. to form my sounds. Yeah, amen. <laughs> They're like, oh, you Lord, these women are crazy. <laughs> Just say more, Lord. Let them feel this joy. I love it. Let them feel this joy. But now I going to have to talk about yeah. dreams to people that maybe have never heard of it. I like to. Somebody said this. I'm trying to remember who it was. I can't remember if it was um, Adam Thompson. I did one with him a few weeks ago. Uh, somebody <laughs> said in the night season. <laughs> so heavy. In the night season, it's like Sam with 2020. Yeah. Like, like 20 in the night as God speaks to you, prepares and imparts, and then 20 in the day. (laughs) So I was just going to have you teach on anything about dreams because somebody, like, before you play and pray the unlocking, just maybe the importance. I know you've had some awesome dreams of prophetic words for people, too, so that might be something that God's releasing, too. Yeah. I think it has to do something with like just staying in relationship with the Lord and having that like open, you know, that open communication with him. It's like communion and there, there's always this conversation going on, you know, and always say to the Lord, um, you know, don't let me miss anything. Don't let me miss anything you're doing. Don't let me miss anything. I need to be praying over my family. Don't let me miss out. Like talk to me, Lord. If I can't hear you in the day, is what I say. Amen. If I can't hear you in the day, Lord, talk to me at night. Don't let me miss it. Like I understand that I don't know it all, you know, like I don't feel like a know it all. And if we all get to the place where we think like we know it all and like we can make it without God, then we've we've really like gotten off the pathway because it's yeah. all grace. It's all leading into Amen. grace. Paul got Amen. it. Read the epistles, eat the epistles up, learn what it is to be under yeah. grace. Like this man, he Amen. understood it, you know, like we're Amen. under grace. If I'm kept, it's because he keeps me. So I'm like, Amen. Lord, keep me, talk this to me at night. Sustainer. Show me what you're Amen. doing. Show me what you're doing in the body of Christ. Show me what you're saying. Cause Lord, I'm jealous. Amen. I'm jealous over you. Yeah, you're, you're, you talk to your children and I want you to talk to me. Yeah, I love it. I'm Come jealous. On. I Come want on. God. Yeah, me too. <laughs> we all want to hug Papa, don't we? When other people get words, <laughs> I get jealous. I wanted to hear that. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> you know, we it. all think it. I'm just saying we, what yeah, we all amen. think. Come on. We just love daddy. I'm like, Lord, show me, show me what you're just, I don't even have to share it. You know, I mean, I do share that. I don't share everything that he shows me, yeah. but yeah, he'll show me things and, Come on. you know, and there's wisdom in them. that. Yeah. Like yeah. there's certain things like he'll show me for people, uh, close mm. friends, um, mm. you know, people in ministry, people I'm not yeah. real connected to, but I know he'll give me dreams yeah. for, and I'll message it to mm. them on Facebook and they'll say, this is accurate word yeah. of the Lord. I never asked for that though, guys. So I, I don't know why that is something that happened in my life. It started back when I first came to the Lord. My dream language was the first way I got to know the voice of it. God. And I would start having Amen. dreams for people. 
um, mm -hmm. the, a really cool thing that happened was he started giving me dreams for my old high school friends wow. who I used to run what an with. What evangelism tool. Wow. Didn't talk that. to for like 20 years, April. It was wow. crazy. And I had an awesome. on point word wow. of knowledge dream for like four of my friends. I love that. I Facebook messaged them and told them <laughs> the entire dream. By faith, you were obedient. Yes. Because what are they going to do? Come hunt me down and say, don't give me a dream word. Yeah. You know, I mean, come on. Yeah. Yeah. You had no fear of men. Amen. No. And I was None. like, does this mean yeah. anything to you? Every single awesome. one. It was on point words of come knowledge, on. exactly what was happening in their life. And the cool part about it is it was so riddled that only they could figure it out. So God that. is so sweet that yeah. he didn't uncover them with me. Like he's so sweet oh, that he didn't show me everything going on. He gave me these cool riddles that I did not, they didn't make any sense to me. I was like, I saw this and this and this and this. So I told them about it and they're like, oh my gosh, I know exactly what that means. So um, they said, it's exactly. And some of them did reveal to me. Others said, that's really on point, but I don't want to share what that means to me, you know, cause it was so like yeah. serious. Deep. But Praise it was God. all assigned to them because Jesus. they didn't believe. They didn't wow. believe in God. And yeah, they could see, and powerful. they could see the ministry, and they could see where I was at now, and they could see how yeah. God changed my life. And I know that God used that in that moment to wake them up to reality that he's calling them. And it was so sweet. But over the mm -hmm. years, it's happened for my family. I get words of knowledge. Um, wow. And I love how the Lord does it because he gives it to me in such a way that it doesn't like make them feel violated. You know, yeah, you got to remember good. too, like, okay, Honor. let's use some wisdom in dreams. Like if you have a dream about somebody and if you knew that somebody had a dream like that about you, would you want that person having that dream about you telling you so that you knew yeah. that they yeah. knew all your junk? So yeah. sometimes God does reveal junk to us for other people, yeah. but we are not supposed to tell them. Yeah. Come on. Because it's going to yeah. hurt their feelings. Yeah. Let's use some wisdom. Pray. If you see Amen. that going on with Come people, on. don't, oh, yeah. I can't wait to tell them, you know, yeah. that little thing <laughs> rubs so, up. And, Amen. Oh, I got so something wisdom. on you. I'm going to let you yeah. know that I know. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Come it's on, true. Guys. People do that. People We're do I that. know. We could have some integrity. Yeah. Just yeah, come on. pray for them. Leave it alone. Yeah. Don't tell yeah. them. But hey, yeah. when it's good news, God will give you good news and encouraging words. He'll give you those too. So if come he on. trusts you, listen, that should make you happy that God's given you words of knowledge through your dreams. If you're yeah. not getting it, I pray God starts releasing it to you. But first, you've got to say to the Lord, you can trust me. This is what I tell him. Yeah. If you give me That's dreams, good. you can trust me to release it if they're words for the body of Christ. To yes, call the good. person if it's going to encourage them or give them direction and to yeah. pray for them if it's a spiritual attack. Come Do on. Those three things. If you'll say mm -hmm. that to the Lord and keep your word, the yeah. more you keep your word, y'all need to listen to me now. The more you Come keep on. your word, the more it will increase on Come you. Come on. That's if God good. gives you a dream for somebody and you don't follow through on the prayer mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. telling them about it, you will see a decrease in your dream language. Come on. I'm just telling you that's how it is because I've done it and I've seen that happen. <laughs> <laughs> I know what that is. I've walked Amen. through it. Now, Been there. when you repent and you get faithful them. and you follow through with the word, come on. Come on, April. Come on. Even if it's I months know. later, follow through, get it back out, say, oh, I forgot to give this dream to my friend. And it was supposed to encourage yeah. them at that season in their life. Follow through, give them the word, and watch. God will turn the dream language right back on. Come on. So start with that. Start with, Lord, you can trust me to, number one, mm -hmm. release the word to the body on Facebook or however you do it. Yeah. If it's a dream Amen. for the body of Christ. Number two, yeah. release it to my friend if it's going to encourage them. And number three, pray for them if it's something Come for on. intercession and not share it. it with them. That is the three main keys for dream language and the Lord keeping that pathway open. Um, Amen. Yeah. And so, and doing like Jennifer did being obedient. Mm -hmm. So if she's activating this in you right now, don't have the fear of man, just step out, Yeah, risk it like Jennifer risk did it. and look at the effects that she had from stepping out Yeah, and reaching out to high school people. I mean, that was powerful. Yeah. You can blame it on pizza. You know, I mean, it's like, <laughs> to, Hey, oh, you're so funny. Like you're we're not going to traumatize them. Oh Lord. Yeah, they yeah. Had a dream. Amen. 
I'm Amen. traumatized Come forever. On. Risk it. Yeah, it's worth the risk. Come on. Yes, they will it. love it. They will receive it. If they don't, it's the Lord yeah. reaching out in compassion to try to get their yeah. attention, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. And I love that, too. The Lord got on me about writing them down. Like, some dreams he won't make me write down. But some of them, you know, you have that unction. I've got to write this down because, it, yeah. like you said, it, sometimes for me, it takes me like getting alone with Holy Spirit to say, is this a dream for the body of Christ? Yeah. Is it a warning? You know, just getting before, like right. Jennifer said, the Holy Spirit, just what are you doing? Yeah. Man. And sometimes you'll know in the setting of the dream too. I mean, we could, we need to do a whole dream interpretation thing. I mean, really, <laughs> I you, you could spend dreams. hours yeah, on this. The symbolism. You can, you can spend hours. Yeah, yeah, like you have to just, you have to eat on the dream and see, look yeah. at it, look at the setting, look at how the word was delivered in the dream. I mean, just come all on. of it will give you. Everything. Yeah, the yeah. riddle will come alive, whether you're supposed to release it. For example, I just had that dream about the recalling of the church, that God is yeah. recalling the church. If there's a recall Amen. released to the church, like a recall on lettuce, you know, for, <laughs> <laughs> but this is a recall Love on the church. That. Come on. Not because the church is like infectious. Yeah. yeah. Although we're supposed to be infectious with love, but on, a recall on. on us to come back to our first love and step out into the harvest fields again. And come it was on. being released in my dream as me preaching mm -hmm. it to a, a huge, you know, group of people. And come so I knew on. the Lord was saying, this is a word, you know, to the body. And so I've had many dreams like that where I am releasing the word, you know, to uh, a large group of people. And so come you on. can look at the setting. And it'll kind of help you um, interpret it, you know. Come on. And Amen. Um, yeah, so, and the Holy Spirit, you know, pray for wisdom will help you interpret it also. And sometimes you don't get the interpretation because it's not time to have the interpretation. Come on. So Come sometimes on. you got to hold on to them. Write it and down. that's right. The Lord will quicken <laughs> it to you. He'll activate it. He'll bring it back to your memory. And then Come all on. of a sudden you'll see more in that dream that you saw before because the time is right. Come on. So I love that. Do keep it journaled like April is saying and oh, go back and read your journal at least a few times a year, right? At least Amen. a few times a year. I tried to be obedient with that. I heard John Paul Jackson talking on a video I did. He said he had a dream, his dream book. I was like, God, help me steward this. Help me steward this. But when I heard John Paul Jackson's testimony, he said the Lord gave me a dream. It was 20 years after he gave me the dream. He reminded me of the dream, made me go to my dream journal and oh, said, wow. now this is coming forth. And I thought, oh, man, it's time to keep stewing it. Oh, wow. Well. Write them down, write them down, write them down. It impacted his life, and it shifted something, and it meant so much to him. Yeah. And so I'm trying to, yeah, amen, just be faithful in the story. Yeah, and having people in your dreams, you know, like they represent things. and Yeah, come on. Just what what they represent means something in the dream. And come on. I mean, really we need to have two hours to break all that down. I know. I know. I know. I guess, uh, whew, Holy ghost. It's hard to even get off the glory. So heavy mm -hmm. man, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I don't know if it's echoing just for me, but is it echoing for you? If not for, can you guys hear us? Okay. Okay. I'm hearing it's actually playing my audio back. Uh -oh. I can hear myself talking from like 30 seconds ago, <laughs> but it's okay. I'll ignore it. <laughs> oh, that's all right. We'll, we'll wrap up soon. I didn't realize it's already been like two hours. Yeah. It just flew by. Holy yeah. Ghost. The Lord moved. It's but, so good. Uh, it's so good. I just, I know it's hard to wrap up. But it's so heavy in here, but um, I just want to put a, a link to when we get done, if you've been touched or healed and um, I just want to put the link at the end of the broadcast. If you want to sew into Jennifer's ministry, uh, uh, ugh, my tongue is so tied because the glory <laughs> is so thick. Contagious Love International. So if you got, and just share your testimonies. If you feel led to sew, you feel led to sew. If you don't, there's not pressure. But a lot of times people will ask me after the broadcast, like, where can I give or where? So I just like to post them because we want to bless and honor what they're doing in the kingdom and they're going forth and they're, they're, pioneer and you know some amazing things and, and they're faithful and stewarding it so i just want to give you an opportunity to sew and you, we cannot hear an echo okay okay so good. Hearing us good so i guess we'll uh just to pray you want to just pray maybe like a prayer of impartation um both of us and then we'll wrap up and then if you got healed tonight 
or delivered or touched or anything that you want to share, you can, I don't know if you want them to message you, Jen, or they can message me. Um, I don't know how many messages you get in your box, Jen. Either way, just message me and I can forward it to Jen. And because sure. we want to hear what Jesus is doing. It's all for him, yeah. you know, and, and we just want you to, to, to receive tonight. And if he's continuing to work and you're still feeling that fire and heat and electricity in your body as we're getting off of here, just let the glory, just stay where you're at. Don't get off the floor. Don't get off the couch. Just let the glory touch you. So I'm just going to let Jennifer um, impart and I'll impart and then we'll wrap it up. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we just thank, thank you Jesus. so much for this time. Thank we give you the Lord. glory, Lord. We just ask for your your presence, Lord, more than everything else. We just want to hear your sweet voice and your sweet presence. Yeah. And Lord, like we were just talking about dreams, I really feel like you're just activating that yeah. close communion and your voice mm -hmm. and that secret, beautiful way yes. of communing with us and, and opening up the treasures of your heart, Lord, yes. that you're trusting us with. You're trusting us with things when you show us things in dreams whether it's for our own life or for others, Lord, you're trusting us. And I just want to thank you for that. And I pray, Lord, that your people, God, that, that so many of them today on this broadcast as you're watching, that you would just let the Lord trust you, that you are trustworthy with him. You are trustworthy with the things that he wants to show you, that you're going to be a good steward over those things. You're going to watch over it, just like God watches over his word to perform it. That may we watch over his word that he speaks to us and may we watch over it until, until it's released and performed. May we watch over it and pray over it and intercede over it. Lord, I just ask for a spirit of faith right now, just mm -hmm. a gift of faith right now, even that you've allowed me to walk in to just believe you, to just trust you, just ultimately abandon, just heart wide open, trust you, trust you with my heart, trust you with my life trust you with my family, trust you with my ministry, trust you with my calling, trust you with everything, Lord, that you can just have it. Lord, I pray that that faith would come on them today in the places where they haven't been able to let go and just trust you and release everything to you. God, I pray that they would just lay it all out on the table today and just say, God, you are God. You are more than able to, to make things flourish and to bless, to bless my life. I give you all of these things right now in my life as seeds for you to just take into your hands. And Lord, I ask you to water it. I ask you to plant it. And I ask you to multiply it. And I ask you to harvest it according to your timing, not mine. I'm going to lay down my agenda, my wants, my calendar, my expectation mm, of what everything's supposed yes. to be. And I'm going to just let it all go. Yeah. And I'm going to say, Lord, have your way and let your timing yeah. be perfect because I know that it is. And I know that when fruit manifests in my life, Lord, it's because the timing has manifested it in the perfection of that fruit to come forth. Come the exact on. fulfillment of time has, has manifested. And Lord, you will call forth the fruit in my life at the appointed season. Lord, I'm going to trust that even if it's not the season that I want, Lord, it's the season that you want. Because, Lord, you have a bigger picture. Your thoughts are above my thoughts. Your ways are above my ways. So, Lord, I'm just not going to trust in, in my ideas anymore. Lord, I'm just going to lay them down. And I believe, Father, that you see into all things, that you're moving through everything in my life, and that your hand is upon it, and that your blessing is upon it, because I'm in covenant with you through your son, Jesus Christ. I know that the curse no longer alights upon me, because the curse alighted upon Jesus. Therefore, everything in my life is under a blessing right now because I've yielded my heart and life to you and I walk after your spirit. I know that everything will be good manifesting towards me. Father, you have given me the gift of your Holy Spirit. You have given me all good things. You have given me the blessing of your hand. You have commanded the blessing on my life. So I trust you, Lord, to move forward in my life according to your timing and your will. Lord, just manifest that faith upon your people right now. The yield Yielded, completely yielded servants, Lord of God, the ambassadors of Christ that truly work for the kingdom of God and not for the kingdom of ourselves. Lord, may we be broken and yielded, Father, to the place where you can truly use us, that we hear your voice and that we move with you, God. Lord, move up people with compassion.
often right now. I ask for an impartation of compassion and love and being wrecked by the love of Jesus. Lord, take over us when we see the broken, that we would be moved on by your compassion for them, Lord, not ours, that your love would take over our heart and that your love would compel us, God, to go out into the lost and the sick and the broken and the dying of this world. Lord, I pray right now that people would get so full of the glory and so full of the Holy Spirit, so full of your presence, that, Father, their thoughts can't even go anywhere else. Lord, that they become consumed with you everywhere they walk, even while they're doing all the things we do in life, Father, that your glory would be upon them, that you would cause them to move with the wind and move with the glory, Father, in a way like never before. God, I pray right now for that gift of faith like a child, that they would believe that they will walk in glory, that they walk in your presence everywhere they go, Father. And I thank you that you will manifest signs and wonders and healings and miracles and deliverances and salvations, Father, as your glory and presence is going before them and on all sides in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Lord, I just thank you for everybody that you're working on right now as I still see and feel you just healing people and touching people Lord, we just call their, their breakthrough. Now we just thank you, Jesus, that you are the God of breakthrough and that you're breaking people through to a new realm of healing and encounters. And even in the manifestation of your presence, Lord, I just thank you that the spirit of revelation just opens up, like it says in your words, that everybody under the sounds of our voice, that they will have the revelation, like what Jennifer was talking about, just the revelation of Jesus Christ and the fullness of his atonement, Lord, everything that the atonement means, that it's not just salvation. It's not just salvation. It is wholeness to our soul and healing to our bodies that he paid such a high price to love each individual under the sound of our voice i just thank you lord the glory continues to fall on them tonight just let them experience a new level of glory a new level of, of knowing who you are by revelation and just like a child like what Jennifer was talking about, let them pour out their hearts like a child. And Lord, if there's any spiritual gift, Lord, that I care that they need for their assignment, I just impart it right now. I just release it in Jesus' name. And Lord, we just bless their assignment. We bless their growth. And we just continue to bless their hunger. Lord, I just feel so much hunger on this broadcast. So Lord, we just ask you to fan that flame. Just fan the flame in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh, it's so much fun, Jennifer. It's hard to even want to go. <laughs> I just want to thank you so much. I'm so honored to have you on here. We just love you guys. And I can't wait to see what God's going to be doing through you guys over this next couple of years. We just love following and seeing the breakthroughs, the miracles, the love, the signs and wonders that you guys are walking in. So I just want to thank you so much for coming on and sharing your glory story. Thank you so much for having me, April. Love you guys and honor you too and bless you and all the Lord's doing (laughs) in your life and so excited to run this race together. Come on. In Jesus' name. Run the race with us, guys. We bless you. Yes. Bless you to come alongside and start laying your hands on the sick, like what Jennifer was yeah. talking about. It. You can do it all. Yeah. Your child, just as we are children, just run with childlike faith and start praying for the sick, and start praying for those miracles. And do like Jennifer said, just trust the Father, that still small voice. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Be blessed. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. And everybody, that is another glory story for you. So I would just like to challenge you on the different things that you heard my guest talk about on the glory today to just get alone with God and ask Him to help you cultivate His presence in your everyday life and see what kind of glory story that God wants you to be a part of.